Hello, I'm Liz Lumley of Finextra, and we're here at EBA Day in Amsterdam. And today I'm speaking to Marcus Treacher of HSBC. And we're going to talk about innovation and payments, which is, of course, what you work on at the bank. So, you know, since your role involves working with innovation, you know, what are some of the trends you're seeing in regards to the digitization of financial services? The main trend we're seeing is an explosion in the range of solutions and the pace at which these solutions are created by small startup companies and larger tech companies worldwide. It's driven by the availability of cloud computing, the availability of new creative um, app and app technology, and people putting things together and creating great new propositions that really weren't thought of before. So the enormity of what's available in the market, for me, is the, the major change that we're seeing today versus the previous fintech revolutions. There were previous fintech revolutions. <laughs> well, we had, the, uh, we had the year 2000, the, the move on to internet, the externalization yeah, the of, um, of um, you know, tra transaction initiation. But the current environment, the sheer pace and the sheer scale at which people are creating and people are genuinely thinking freshly and differently about the payment needs and the banking needs, how they fit into day to day life. That's really new and that's quite, quite profound. So during this, this current wave of fintech revolution, we, we hear a lot about how important mobile is to customers. What are the, some of the other key trends that are going to be important to customers in the future? Well, for, for us, a big focus is reducing the amount of cash that's carried and involved in transactions worldwide. The cash is a major um, source of inefficiency, overhead, leakage, loss, and uh, lack of visibility for corporates large and small all over the world, not just in the emerging market, but also in the developed world as well. So mobile, when applied properly to good data handling, can create really powerful, simple um, solutions for people to buy and sell from each other. And the permutations and combinations are enormous, whether this is for purchasing um, farm produce in the emerging markets or selling fast-moving consumer goods into um, um, cities across Asia or Latin America, or whether it's connecting smart meters, maybe in Europe. So the mobile, if you like, is the wonderful delivery medium we have today. Supporting that with clever technology means you can really attack some of the fundamental inhibitors of um, uh, commerce that's been there for a long time, like checks and, uh, and cash. So keep, keeping on the theme that, um, you know, like the customer should be the center of everything, you know, how can, how can customers really take advantage of some of these uh, new sort of digitized financial services? Customers benefit from the greater awareness of their financial lives, seeing the transactions flow more immediately. They also benefit from having much more immediate um, access to funds and also access to payment information. So whether you're a small company and um, you want to sell in a way that appeals to your customers or whether you are an individual and you want to keep track of the coffees you bought this week and how that ties into your, your overall bank position without waiting for your statements to be produced. The mobile medium and the enormity of solutions created in the back of that make it much easier to live lives. It also means that creative innovators can come up with whole new ways of enabling people to get things done. Uber is a great example of a, um, a wonderful taxi booking, feedback, managing service. It really wasn't in the vocabulary of people or companies even a couple of years ago. I mean, I, I, I have a bit of a pet peeve when people compare banking to other industries, but I think the, the Uber story is, is kind of relevant because, especially in London, taxis are a regulated, male-dominated industry, <laughs> so uh, much like one of ours. So I think it's sort of an interesting comparison what Uber did to the taxi world. It, it is, and I think that um, the, the wonderful thing about what's happening now is there really is potential to rethink some of the more difficult elements of, uh, of banking. And if we do so with a, a clear eye on you know, good regulation, good compliance, good control, in the banking world, we can create some really empowering propositions to our customers. They are individuals managing their lives better with HSBC or other, other providers, or whether they are the world's major multinationals being able to manage their supply chains, to distribute better, purchase more accurately, and get a really good immediate understanding of how their supply chains are performing 
and um, using information, really work through and fine-tune the, um, um, the streamlining of their organisations.